Good morning, guys. It's Coach Knight here. Um, I just wanted to share a couple of verses that I have thought a lot about um, in our time at home and just in the slow the slowness of life right now. Um, I think that for me personally, it has just made me evaluate how I spend my time and my energy um, in my relationships and really just like what life is about because um, it's so easy to find our lives in sports and in academics and arts and um, in music, basically anything that we love, it's easy to find ourselves and our identity in those things. And in a season of quarantine right now, like we've basically been stripped of those things. And so what's left, like what's left at your core and what is your life defined by now that you don't have those things to fill your time with. Um, and so I've been reminded of two verses that I want to share. Um, and the first one is Proverbs 8 35. And it says, for whoever finds me finds life and receives favor from the Lord. And so, um, I love this verse because it's so easy to think that we find life and meaning and purpose and satisfaction in all the things that we love of this world. Um, but God's word says that when we truly find life, it's because we find life in Jesus. And so, um, yeah, I, I challenge you guys to really evaluate why you have time right now while life is slow. Um, and you have time to sit and think, like, what is my life? What is my purpose? Why did God create me? Why am I here? Um, why am I in the family that I'm in? Why do I have the friends that I have? All of this is because of Jesus. Um, and he has put you where you are for a specific purpose. And so he wants you to find um, the life that he desires you to live through him. And through having a relationship with him and through knowing him and loving him. And spending time with him every day and all of that is found in God's word and in the Bible um, and so the second verse that I want to read really quick is John 14 6 it says Jesus answered I am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the Father except through me I love this verse because it doesn't give us a lot of room to um, to wander in our heads like it just says Jesus says I am the way the truth and the life um and there's no other way like we find the way that we're supposed to live in jesus um, we find the truth that we need to know and live by in jesus and we find the way that we should walk in in jesus um and i love that and i love the book of john and i just want to encourage you guys if you um are searching or you're asking questions and you're wondering like what is my purpose what is my life what defines my life, um, read through the book of John and learn about Jesus, learn about the man that he, um, was and is still today because he never changes, um, learn about his character and how he loves you and how, um, he cares for you and what he did for you. And, um, yeah, spend some time, ask questions, ask God to reveal himself to you, ask him to meet you where you are. Um, and if you have questions, or you want to talk to someone, reach out, ask questions. Now's the time to search um, and to look for truth. Know that you guys are loved um, and that God is with you and that he's for you. And we miss you guys a lot. Have a great day. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, May 5th. And happy birthday to Rachel Bowling in 8th grade. It is also Cinco de Mayo. So, yeah, uh, it's pretty awesome. Um, today's a G day. We start with second and with seventh and there's no first period today. It is a one day on the enrichment schedule. Well, guys, I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Actually, I'm not going to steal your line, Mr. Harris. Love you guys. Peace. Good morning, middle school. Hope everybody's well this morning. Um, looks like we're out of the severe weather, at least for a little while. I'm going to knock on wood as I say that, actually. Um, I know some of you are still dealing with power outages. Actually, our school... Uh, the power at our school is still out. So we um, only get emails from each other because it's cloud-based. We don't get emails from parents or um, anything outside of FR FRA's organization. So just know that, um, you know, I know everybody's kind of still recovering from uh, the power outages and those types of things. And your teacher is going to have grace if you're unable to log in or zoom in um, because of loss of internet or electricity. 
Um, but we're going to keep rolling along. Um, you know, we're down to, I mean, the countdown, the final countdown, the final countdown is on for sure. Um, we've got, what is it? One, two, about six more um, school days, technical school days uh, remaining in this school year. So give us your best. Keep working hard. Make sure all your assignments are done and submitted uh, before the end of the, uh, the week. Um, shore up all of those things so as we head into final assessments and final projects, you're ready to wrap this thing up really well. Remember that you are loved and there is nothing you can do about it. Make it a great day. Now we have nothing, we never speak cause we're too busy